The Spanish government has said that the head of the Catalonia region has failed to clarify whether he declared independence last week. In a letter to Madrid on Monday, Carles Puigdemont instead called for negotiation over the next two months. The Spanish government has warned that Catalonia must revoke the declaration or face direct rule from Madrid. Separately, a judge ruled that the Catalan chief of police will not be held in custody. Spain's state prosecutor had asked for Josep Luis Trapero to be detained while he is investigated for sedition against the state. A court spokesman told Reuters news agency that Mr. Trapero's passport will be withdrawn while the investigation is ongoing. His force, the Masos de Esquadra, is accused of failing to help Spain's Guardia Civil Police tackle thousands of pro-independence protesters in Barcelona during the run-up to the referendum. Last week, Mr. Puigdemont signed a declaration of independence, but halted its implementation to allow negotiations. Spain's deputy PM Soraya Sanz de Santa Maria said Mr. Puigdemont now had until Thursday to clarify his position. But Catalan TV station TV3 said Mr. Puigdemont would not respond by then, citing unnamed sources. MS Sanz de Santa Maria said on Monday that Madrid deeply regrets that the Catalan government had decided not to respond to Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy's request for clarity on the region's independence decision. Speaking at the official residence of the Spanish Prime Minister, the Moncloa Palace, she said that any future dialogue between Madrid and Catalonia's regional government must take place within the law. MS Sanz de Santa Maria added that the Spanish government's handling of the Catalonia crisis was widely backed in the Spanish parliament. Spain's Justice Minister Rafael Catala earlier said that Mr. Puigdemont's response to the Madrid deadline was not valid, Spanish news agency F reported. Mr. Catala said the letter had failed to clarify Catalonia's position or explain what measures Mr. Puigdemont's regional government was planning in order to fulfill Madrid's demands. In a letter to Mr. Rajoy on Monday, Mr. Puigdemont said his suspension of the political mandate given by the polls on October 1 demonstrates our firm will to find a solution and not confrontation. For the next two months, our main objective is to bring you to dialogue, he said, asking for a meeting as soon as possible. Let's not let the situation deteriorate further. With goodwill, recognizing the problem and facing it head on, I am sure we can find the path to a solution, Mr. Pugdemont wrote. In a speech to the Catalan Parliament on October 10, Mr. Pugdemont said that he had been handed a clear mandate to move towards secession. Today I assume the mandate for Catalonia to become an independent state in the form of a republic, he said. However, despite signing a declaration of independence, Mr. Pugdemont said that Parliament would suspend the effects of the move to allow negotiations to take place. We're suspending the declaration of independence for a few weeks because we want a reasonable dialogue, a mediation with the Spanish state, he said.